Hello all. So in this tutorial we are going to model a keychain tab in Autodesk 3ds Max. So let's get started. So there are many ways to model this. So let's start. Let's go into the spline. Let's take a circle. So let's give a modifier called extrude use the extrude modifier let's go into the circle and let's go into this and just reduce the steps over here so after you are done with this stuff over here let's go into extrude just push it up let's go over here angle snap toggle let's set it to 90 degree shift and copy it push this up over here now you can make one more copy of it and delete the extrude modifier push this over here so select this let's go into this compound objects and you have option called shape merge pick shape and select this so once you use the shape over here now you can just convert to editable poly right click on it let's use a cut over here let's use a cut right click use a cut over here so you can uh, use a cut over here and if it is not required this loop you can delete the loops if you have some additional loops over here So you can delete the additional loops so you can all right so So let's go into this and use a cut. So after you are done with this stuff, let's go into the vertices and whatever extra vertices you see over here you can delete all of this extra vertices so you can just uh, push this over here let's go into this select all of this polygons delete it select this convert to editable poly delete this and let's attach it so so you can just attach this stuff with this and let's go into the border and you have a option over here that's called bridge so you can easily bridge this so as you can see you have uh, bridge this stuff ring it connect it the better way and you can just push this so now you can just convert again that's already in a poly let's select this polygon 
if you require it on the one side you can keep it on the one side no problem again say edge inset and you can use a bit of bevel that's it so select this again use a inset click ok so now go into this view let's take a line and drag a line on to the top and push it till here go into the vertices and use a fillet that's it all right so you can just uh, rotate this stuff like this over here so now it's very simple uh, select this select the polygon extrude along spline so you can just select this extrude along spline and you have this property over here and you can increase its segments so once you increase the segments you can say you can extrude it along the spline as you want it accordingly click ok or you still want to reduce this so you can reduce the stuff so extrude along spline and you can make it more thinner click ok so once you're done with this so let's go into the edge double click double click and control and backspace or you can just keep it simple control and backspace control and backspace, control and backspace. so you get it uh, right one sided so now you can go into the edges you can just save your file once over here you can go into the modeling and if you need a swift loop so you can go with this swift loop process you can do it individually also by a different parameter so right now I'm doing it uh, putting the loops very very manually So you can just push the stuff. So let's select this uh, edges. Select all of these edges. All of these edges. Ring it. Alt and R. And you can press control and click on the polygons and you can just click on the extrude by local normal and reduce it that's it so you can reduce it to very very less and click ok that's it so once you are done with this you can uh, try it with more things so let's delete this stuff I don't need it over here so let's select this border extrude it again extrude it again extrude it so I'm going to just uh, extrude all these elements
and finally you can just extrude it that's it all right so you can just uh, go over here ring it you can just use a connect option over here ring it and give a bit of a bevel that's it click ok so whatever ways you want you can use this stuff over here so let's go into the vertices select the edge ring it connect it or you can uh, select this and just extrude it down select this stuff and give extrude it that's better you can take a cylinder again you want it over here you can use the same function over here for that your shape merge can utilize the same option so you can use the same option over here if you want so let's go over here uh, you can just reduce the scale it and give a extrude modifier that's it if you just want to put it uh, very normally you can put that So copy it, remove the extrude modifier, so select this, uh, again go into this, shape merge, big shape and you can just uh, cut this out, the shape of it, so convert to poly. So select this, delete the shape. So let's go into this. So some extra vertices. If you have, you can uh, delete those extra vertices. So just check out how many uh, edges you require over here. because this is a very uh, floating element so you can do it that way also or you can just scale this let's go into this and reduce the radius that's it All right so push this in and push this down that's it. So normally material if you want to give you can give a, a normal material so you can give a, a normal standard material over here or you can make it as a blend and give a specular level that's it all right so that's it So you can save your file. All right. So thanks for watching this tutorial.